Hey guys, so welcome back to CBAS tutorial channel and this is our situation 12 came from C board exam May 2022 for structural engineering and construction. So before we start to solve this situation, please subscribe and hit the bell icon for the notifications and updates on our YouTube. So situation number 12, given the following data, okay, so this is data, all diameter is 20 millimeter, all Hole diameter is 23 millimeter diameter and plate thickness is 25. The bolt shear strength FBV or the allowable bolt shear strength is equivalent to 120 megapascal. The bearing strength of, bo of the bolt is 480 megapascal and the plate shear strength is 138 megapascal. Also, the yield strength of the steel. Okay, it's 250 megapascal and the ultimate uh, strength or tensile strength of the plate is 400 megapascal. Okay, so ito yung ating figure. So we have two plates na connected okay, by bolts and we have nine bolts. Okay, so ang diameter ng bolts natin, ito yun. Ito yung ano, tinutukoy na diameter. So 20 millimeter diameter. Tapos, yung butas naman daw ay, may, uh, okay, actually, in-apply nung, ano dito, examiner yung, ano, um, tinatawag natin na effective hole diameter. So, ibig sabihin, nagdagdag siya ng another 3 millimeters dun sa bolt diameter. Kasi nga naman, sa actual, ano, di ba, um, hindi naman natin kayang, ano, uh, isakto talaga yung butas na tugma sa bolt diameter, di ba? So, para hindi tayo ma-problema doon, ang ginagawa natin is, ilalakihan natin yung butas. Nag-add tayo ng, okay, actually sa ano, sa NSCP 2015, kung yun ang basis natin, nag-add tayo ng ano, dalawang 2 millimeters para makuha natin effective hole diameter. So, that is 4 millimeters. Pero, sa board exam naman, um, ini-include naman yung sa problem kung ilan yung idadagdag ninyo. So, hindi nyo siya kailangan problemahin. Kagaya nito, Ang dinagdag lang ng examiner is 3 millimeters. Okay? So, ayan. Okay, so number 1. Determine the maximum load P based on the shearing strength of bolts. So, ibig sabihin, okay, so hanapin daw natin yung maximum load P based daw dun sa ating ano, uh, shear strength para sa bolts. So, saan nga ba mangyayari yun? Dito, di ba? Ayan. Ayan, masishear yung ating bolt. Or magkakaroon ng uh, sliding. Okay? So ngayon, since 9 yung ating bolts, ibig sabihin yung ating P is mahati okay, or madadala or i-carry ng sham na bolts. Okay? So number 1, ang ating kasi shear stress is equivalent to shear force over area ng shear. So dito, yung ating B kasi is 9, di ba? So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 9. So ibig sabihin... We have 9B, which is equivalent to 1P. Kaya, yung ating B is equivalent to P over 9. Then, yung ating area shear, hindi natin gagamitin yung ano ha, hole diameter. Ang gagamitin natin is yung bolt diameter. Kasi, ang na-shear dyan is yung mismong uh, bolt natin. Okay? So, this is pi over 4 multiplied by 20 squared. So, we natin dyan is 20 squared over 4 na lang. So, Wag mo natin i-multiply yung, uh, yung pi. Okay? So, ito nyan is 100 pi millimeter squared. Para buo pa rin. Hindi tayo nag-round uh, nag off. Okay? So, ayan. So, ngayon, makukuha natin yung pi natin. Diba? So, mula rito, uh, shear stress, ang ating V is equivalent to okay? Ang ating shear force is equivalent to shear stress which is multiplied by AV. Okay? Eh, yung ating uh, V is P over 9. So, kung P over 9 to, cross multiply natin yung 9 dito, di ba? So, ngayon, yung ating, ano, yung ating P is equivalent to 9 multiplied by shear stress multiplied by shear area. Okay. So, ang ating P is 9 multiplied by shear stress na 120 megapascal. So, this is Newton per millimeter squared, hindi ba? So, Mumultiply natin ang area na, okay, 100 pi. So, this is millimeter squared. Matitirize newton. Divide natin ng 1,000 para maging kilonewton. 
So, ang ating P is 339.3. Okay, so this is kilo. Next, number 2. Ang pinapahanap is maximum load based on the bearing strength of the plate. Okay? So, saan nga ba magkakaroon dito ng bearing? Okay, or bearing contact. Okay, or area of contact ng bearing. So, saan ba yun? Dito. Okay? Between the... Oops, sorry. Hindi dyan. Dito siya. Ayan. Kung sa ano ha, sa upper plate, dito yung ating bearing. Okay, ayaw lang mabura to. Okay? Ayaw lang nilang mabura kasi naglalag yung ating ano eh, application. Ayan. Okay, so dito yung ating ano, um, area of contact ng bearing sa ano ha, sa upper plate. Pero kung sa lower plate, andito siya. So, ibig sabihin, um, nagtamaan yung ating plate and bolt. Tapos nagkaroon tayo ng area of contact. So, yung contact na yun, doon nangyari yung bearing stress. Ayan. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, sa upper plate natin, ang magahati ulit para sa pin natin is sham. Okay? Sham na area of contact. So, ibig sabihin, yung ating bearing stress is equivalent to PB over area bearing. Yung ating uh, PB is sham. Diba? Then, equivalent to P. Therefore, Yung ating PB is 9, or sorry, P over 9. Kaya, yung ating ano nyan, um, P is equivalent to 9 multiplied by bearing stress multiplied by area of bearing. Na kung saan, yung ating area bearing is yung thickness ng plate na 25 multiplied by the diameter of the bolt. Hindi yung 23. Okay? Kasi yun yung butas. Ang nangyari kasi dyan, di ba, kahit na malaki yung butas, ito naman yung ating bolt. Ang nagtamaan dyan is, okay, yung nagtamaan dyan is yung bolt saka yung ating you know, um, plate. Okay, so ang gagamitin natin is yung 20mm diameter. So this is what? Okay, 25 multiplied by 20, so 500. 500 millimeter squared. So yung ating P is what? 9 multiplied by area na 500 multiplied by bearing stress which is 480. Okay, then divide natin ng 1000 para maging kilo newton. So this is 2160. Kilo newton. Tama naman yung sagot natin. Next. Ang tanong naman is yung maximum load P based on the tensile capacity of the plate. Ayan. Tandaan ninyo, under sa, ano, diba, sa steel design, sa tension member, we have different failure mode. Okay? Pero yung basic failure mode natin sa tension member na mayroong connection na bolt is dalawa. Una, yung yielding, okay, or yield failure. And then yung pang pangalawa is yung fracture failure or rupture failure. So sa yielding, um, nakukuha natin or nag-occur ang yielding sa gross area. So, fracture naman, nag-occur yun sa net area. So, nasan nga ba ang, ano, ang mga area na to? So, ang ating yielding or AG is dito. Ayan. Sa gross area. Tapos, yung net area naman is dito. Sa? So, merong butas, of course. Ayan. So, dito yung ating area net. And, wala naman ng binigay na iba pang ano dito eh. Given, so hindi natin kakailanganin pa yung tinatawag natin na area effective under sa steel design. So, that is area effective multiplied by um, reduction factor U multiplied by the area net. Okay? And since ano naman to, plate, yung ating U is equivalent to 1.0. Okay? Tapos, ano pa ba? Okay. Isa pa? Tandaan ninyo na ang FY natin, kaya nga yielding, ibig sabihin, nagamitin natin yan sa ating area gross. Okay? Doon sa yield failure. Then yung ating FU, rupture to eh, di ba? Or ultimate uh, stress. Ibig sabihin kasi, uh, or kailan ba, ano, ang tanong kasi dito is, kailan ba mag-occur yung rupture failure or yung fracture failure sa tension member? Kapag napunit na yung ating, ano, yung ating, 
na napunit na yung ating member. So, saan ba mas mabilis na mapunit yung ating member? Doon sa connection. Kung saan, uh, mamaminus natin yung mga area ng hole. So, that is area net. Kaya, yung ating FU is gagamitin natin para sa area net. Okay? Or para doon sa fracture failure. So, isa-isa yun natin. Okay? So, sa FY natin is equivalent to P over area gross. Kaya, yung ating P is equivalent to FY multiplied by area gross. So, P is equivalent to 250. Then, multiplied by 300 yung width ng ating uh, member. Then, multiplied by thickness na 25. So, P1. Okay? Gawin natin siya as P1 muna. Then, divide natin ng 1,000 para magiging kilo newton. So, 1875. Kilo newton. Next naman sa rupture. So that is FU, hindi ba? So FU is equivalent to P over area net. So therefore, ang ating P is equivalent to um, FU multiplied by area net. So isolve natin yung ano, um, area net. So area net is equivalent to yung width gross natin na 300 then minus natin yung tatlong butas so 300 minus 3 then yung butas natin okay so this time ang gagamitin na natin is yung 23 mm diameter hindi na yung 20 kasi yung butas na eh okay ito na ibabawas natin sa ano eh sa area gross hindi ba Ito yung gagamitin natin. So, 3 multiplied by 23. Then, multiplied by the thickness of the plate. Ito yung ating area net. So, 300 minus 3 multiplied by 23 multiplied by 25. So, 5775 millimeter period. Okay. So, makukuha natin yung P. That is 5775 multiplied by FU na 400. Then, divide natin ng 1,000. So, this is 2310. Okay. Kilo Newton. So, wala. Doon sa sagot. Hindi ba? Kasi, ang tawag dito sa P1 and P2 natin is mga nominal. Okay? Mga nominal yan. Take note nyo, ha? Nominal strength. Ang gusto kasing makuha dito is maximum load. So, ibig sabihin, kung maximum load to, kung ASD tayo, allowable ang gustong kunin. Okay? So, namang, LRFD, tawag dyan is design. Okay? Pero, usually, kapag ganito, ano eh, ASD tayo or allowable. So, ang mangyayari dyan, kukunin natin yung, ano, um, mga allowable strength natin. Okay? So, dito sa P1, since ano to, um, gross, ang gagamit natin dito na, um, safety factor is ito, 1.67. Then, ito naman, since fracture to, ang ating safety factor is equivalent to 2.0. Okay? Kaya, yung ating, ano, um, allowable for, ano, P1 is P1 over safety factor na 1.67. That is 1875 over 1.67. So, 1123. Okay? 1123. Kilo Newton. Then, para naman sa P2, this is 2310 over 2. So, this is 11.55. Wala pa rin yung sagot, hindi ba? Kasi, ito, nag uh, hindi kasi tayo nag-round off. Okay, yung code, yung nag-round off, yung dating NSCP. Okay, ang ginagawa kasi dito, iba kanina, 1.67, di ba? Ang 1 over 1.67 kasi is equivalent to 0.599. And yung ating 1 over safety factor na 0.599 at um, ginagawa nila dyan is approximately equivalent to 0.60. Kaya, 0.60 multiplied by P1 is um, yun, 1875. That is equivalent to 1125. Kaya, ang nakuha niya sagot dyan ay 11.2. 
5. Anyway, malapit pa rin naman yung ating answer. Therefore, ating P max para sa tensile is equivalent to 1, 1, 2, 3 kilo. Okay? Or, pwede rin naman, um, ano na kagad? Kinuha niya kagad dito yung, ano, yung allowable. F, ano, FY. Okay? Yung ano, ito. Allowable FY is equivalent to ano, um, 0.60 of FY. And yung ating allowable FU is equivalent to 0.50 FY. Napansin nyo ba? Ito, yung 0.60, yun yung 1 over 1.67. Tapos, yung 0.50, that is 1 over 2.0. Kaya, 0.50. Okay? Kaso ako kasi, sanay ako ang ginagamit ko itong mga safety factor na to. And mas naliliwanagan kasi ako rito. Mas madali siya. Anyway, ayan. So, ito lang yung ano niya. Yung uh, solution para sa ating situation 12. So, anong mga subject ba to? Pinagsama tong ano, um, strength of materials and steel design. Ayan. Actually, itong number 1 and number 2, ano lang to? Um, strength of materials lang to. Then, number 3, medyo advanced lang ng konti under sa steel design. Okay? So, this is our situation 12. Came from CE board exam. May 2022 for structural engineering and construction. So if you enjoyed and learned from this video, please subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon for notifications updates. So thank you for watching. Bye guys.